Hi everyone. Welcome muli sa ating series of discussion on statics of rigid bodies. In today's discussion, we shall be discussing a sample problem on the equilibrium of non-concurrent force system. And the problem goes like this. Find the distance x measured along AB at which the horizontal force 60 pounds should be applied to hold the uniform bar in the position as shown. Bar AB is 10 feet long and weighs 140 pounds. The incline and the floor are smooth. So in this kind of problem, again, before we solve the problem, let us try to go back to some basic requirements of how problems can be solved. First, we have to identify what are those basic concepts that we need in order that this problem can be solved easily? And in this instance, we shall be looking back at a, the following concept. Of course, we shall be needing here the, the concept of the free body diagram because it is very important that before we can solve easily the problem, it needs to have a correct illustration of the free body diagram. After we have okay, drawn the free body diagram, we need to be able to establish the different conditions of equilibrium so that we shall be able to apply them one by one. What are they? Okay, these are the following. First is the summation of force along x equal to zero. The second one is the summation of force along y equal to zero. And the third is the summation of moment about any axis equal to zero. So let's start working on the first concept that we should be having okay, by drawing the free body diagram. So let us draw the, the free body diagram of this uh, okay, problem. So let us have here our illustration. Imagine that we isolate that part of the body. And on the isolated part of the body, we need to show okay, on this view the different forces acting. If necessary, if the force is unknown, we label this with the known force, or if not known, we simply label this with any kind of symbol. So in this case, we shall be having here okay, a bar who be having a slope of 3 is 2, 4, and then we shall have okay, the following forces. Uh, first is we have the okay, 60 pound force acting at x distance from okay, the bottom measured along the member and this is actually what we shall be looking for the first that we are given here that the bar is uniform so there is actually an implication on how are we going to treat okay, the free body diagram when the bar is uniform we know that if the bar is uniform then the action of the weight shall be acting at its geometric center it is indicated here that the bar has a weight of 140 pounds and therefore at the center of this bar there must be 140 pounds acting at okay, 5 feet from the bottom or 5 feet from the top. So that is how we represent the okay, magnitude of the weight when the bar is okay, uniform. Then we also have to indicate Okay, the external forces acting on the bar exerted by the supports that are removed. So that at point A, okay, we have removed here okay, the surface and indicated in the problem that the surface is smooth. And therefore, we have to indicate the force exerted by the, by the floor and that is perpendicular okay, to the floor. So we have here our okay magnitude of the force exerted by the force at a and because we don't know the magnitude we simply label it with an unknown force second at this point b okay we know that the inclination is inclined at the three vertical and two horizontal and because the plane is also smooth therefore we have to know that the force exerted by the plane upon this object must be perpendicular to the support and because the support is inclined at three vertical to horizontal therefore the support will be inclined at okay, the slope negative reciprocal to the slope of the plane and therefore it will be having 
slope of two vertical and three horizontal. After that, what shall we do now? So we are now ready to resolve okay, the reaction at point B because it's inclined into its horizontal and vertical components. And what's the best method of expressing okay, this R sub B into horizontal and vertical components? Because we are already given the slope of the reaction at point B, then we can have it by ratio and proportion. So that the vertical component of this force shall be proportional to the vertical component of its inclination. As well as the horizontal component of this force shall be proportional to the horizontal component of that inclination. And also proportional to the magnitude of R to the inclination of the force itself. And therefore, we write it at, okay, we write it at R sub B, okay, is to 2, B equal to R sub B H is to 3, equal to R sub B uh, is to the square root of 13. So that from this relationship, we can express that R sub B will be equal to 2 over the square root of 13 multiplied by R sub B. And R sub B H shall be equal to 3 over the square root of 13 multiplied by R sub B. So after we have solved for that, okay, we can now replace R sub B. Let's go back. We can now replace this R sub B by its respective component so that you have R sub B H and R sub B V. Okay. After that, we are now ready to solve for R sub B H because what we already have, if we are going to look at the free body diagram, we will notice that okay, this object now is subjected to different forces that are resolved into horizontal and vertical. And going back to these conditions of equilibrium, we can solve for that one by one by analyzing first. And because we have here, how many unknowns do we have? We have three unknowns, BH, RBV, and RA. And because RBV and RA are unknown, so we can eliminate the two by applying first the summation of force horizontal so that we can solve for RBH. So that applying the force summation horizontally equal to zero, then, and then assuming that a force directed to the right be positive, therefore we shall have okay, the equation 60 coming from this one, okay, minus RBH shall be equal to zero. So that from here, we can solve for RBH equal to 60. After we have computed for this RBH, we can also solve, we can immediately solve for RBV by using this relationship. So that solving for RBV using the relation with RBH, where is this relation? So you can find it here. So that if we shall be substituting the value of RBV in this relationship, with RBH, therefore we can solve for RBV. So that, okay, let us try to find out, we substitute this RBH equal to 60 here. So what do we have? And then simplifying, 60 and 30 will cancel each other, and therefore we can solve for RBV equal to 40 pounds. After solving for RBH and RBV, which is which are equal to 60 and 40 pounds respectively, we can now solve for the value of X, okay, for the distance at which this 60 pounds can be measured along this line AB. And how are we going to do it? By applying the third condition of equilibrium, and that is summation of moment about any axis. And in this particular case, we would be, it would be good to consider summing up moment about this point A because we are referring the distance of this 60 pounds from point A. So what shall we do? So when we, when we sum, sum up moments about A equal to zero, we try to establish by the moment arms of each of the individual forces that we shall be working. Okay, how are we going to do it? Let us try to establish the moment arm of the 60. The 60 would have a moment arm expressed in terms of okay, the ratio proportion. Therefore, it will be equal to the vertical component of the slope okay, to the inclination. And therefore, this will be equal to 3 feet of okay, the distance x. And that is equal to 3 feet of x. 
Similarly, this 140 will have its component in this direction, and that is equal to, okay, because this is also inclined at a okay, 345, therefore this will be equal to 4 feet. Similarly, we can also have, we can also express the moment arm of the vertical component of B, and this will be equal to K okay, 8. And that the moment arm of RBH from point A will be this distance. And this distance will be equal to 6. Now, after solving for the moment arm, we can compute now for the summation of moment, which must be equal to 0. And then solving for that, okay. And uh, in summing up moment, we can consider one direction positive. No? In my case, I, I use okay, the convention that it's counterclockwise positive. Because this is used, okay, using the convention that it will be... Uh, following the right hand thumb principle however if you find some lectures some notes that uses okay the other direction as positive so there will it it does not matter there will be no problem about that anyway this is just only a convention to separate okay or to give sign to the different directions of the moment so that if I will be using this convention that is counterclockwise as positive, then my moment equation will be equal to okay, the moment arm due to BH, which will be equal to RBH multiplied by 6, which will be positive because it will be creating a counterclockwise moment about point A. Similarly, okay, the moment due to RB, V, whose moment arm is 8, will also be producing a, count a counterclockwise moment about 8, will be rotating it, it in this direction, and therefore that would also be positive. While this, okay, 140 will be producing a clockwise moment about it will be rotating about A in this direction, and therefore that will be negative 140 multiplied by the moment arm. Okay. And also, the moment due to this one will also be negative because that is producing a clockwise moment. And all of this, when added, must be equal to zero. Now, if the value of RBH and RBB will be substituted, and then we solve for X, then we shall have K60 okay, multiplied by 6 plus 40 multiplied by 8 minus 140 multiplied by 4 minus 60 multiplied by 3 fib of x shall be equal to 0 and from here you would have a value of x equal to 3.33 so this is how we solve problems that deals with equilibrium of non-concurrent force system and i hope that you are able to follow the solutions and the concept that we have used in solving the problem. Guys, I hope that you will always join me in our discussion on this series of lectures about statics of rigid bodies by subscribing to this channel and sharing it to your friends so that your friends will also be notified, will also be informed of this kind of discussions. Once again, thank you for watching.